I'm just gonna part my hair. Now, I taught myself how to braid at a very young age. Like, I just knew I was going to be a beautician growing up. Everybody in my family knew I was going to be a beautician growing up. I love doing hair. I love braiding. I used to braid all my little cousins hair when I was young. Give me a little $20 to braid their kids hair. One time I did my grandmother hair. She had very short hair thick ass fro and I don't know I probably was about six years old and what I thought I was doing was dreadlocks but I was doing little twists and she had a pink gel and I used the pink gel I mean I think I used the whole entire bottle on my grandmother hair and when she was done she went outside her head was pink her entire hair she had like nice gray hair that thing was pink and one thing i respect about my grandmother she went outside and just wore it like Miana did my hair knowing she looked damn crazy but hey her granddaughter did her hair and that made me feel good so now when i get to the back i'm just i put three braids to the side and the rest i want to go straight to the back and i'll show you guys when i'm done so now I'm going to just take my needle and thread that I already, you know, put thread through. And this is how I braided the back. And then I'm just going to take all the braids and kind of combine them together. And I'm just going to take my needle and kind of just, you know, you just want your braids to stay together being that I trimmed my hair a lot of my um, braids like to come loose so you know this is another good way or you could just bobby pin it up whichever you prefer this is the wild growth hair oil I've been using this since a bitch had hair okay so that really helps me with you know my hair grow like I don't know what it do but that's crack in the bottle so go out and get your wild growth hair oil and it's $6.99 and it lasts you a very long time like I only just put a little especially on my edges and you know you want to just moisturize your hair before you put on your wig because it's gonna get dry and you don't want that and I have an elastic band on and I'm just gonna pull it down in the back so I have an elastic band you know to just hold down the wig caps so it can feel very comfortable and fit it and I did cut the lace already so that's why you don't see it And on this side, you want to just take that lace and bring it over. Got to be glue gel. And this is a small bottle. This was about $2.49 from Walgreens. And I apply very, I apply this much. Like that, And this will hold down your front tooth. So you just want to push it back. And I don't like when people put their front to, you know, starting here. Like, come on, bitch. That do not look realistic. So, I'm just going a little bit, you know, um, after my braids. So, you know, when you put on eyelashes and you wait for the glue to get tacky, that's what you want this gel to do. So, 
I'm just gonna use my blow dryer and put it on cool. Now, once that gets tacky, you wanna just go ahead and apply that. Now, you see what I mean when some people do it this? Like, bitch, put that shit to the back. And then I'm gonna take this lace and you know, you just wanna hold it. Then you wanna go back in with your blow dryer just to make it a bit more tacky. So now with front tools, you can part it. So you can part it either way you want. 